Okay, so cardio. Everyone hates cardio. Everyone hates to run. I hate running. I don't like it very much, especially like distance, you know. When I did track, I did the 100 meter, like in the 200. So I was, you know, I was a sprinter. I wasn't much of a distance guy. But anyway, cardio. Why am I talking about cardio today? Because everyone doesn't do enough of it. Even me, I don't do enough of it. All right. So basically the importance of cardio, even if you're on a bulk or if, you know, you're just not interested in getting ripped, okay? Don't use it as a tool to get ripped. Use it as how I talked about in my other video for this guy in here. All right, so let me let me explain. So conditioning. <sighs> Gosh, I don't have enough. <laughs> as you can see, I'm already out of breath. Anyway, conditioning. So when you're doing anything, you know, any kind of reps above five or six, conditioning comes into play. So you're cardiovascular because, you know, your PCR, so there are three energy systems. There's PCR or phosphocreatine, which is power. Uh, that's in, usually in the, you know, one to five rep range. Then there's oxidative system. Uh, gly well, glycolysis, which is number two, which is more like moderate. And then there's the oxidative system, which is requires oxygen. All right. So when you're busting out a ton of reps, like eight to, and, um, you know, let's say you're doing in a hypertrophy phase or, uh, bodybuilding style training, you're going to do more than eight reps. You know, that's just, a common thing in bodybuilding is to do a lot of reps to try and get that. <clears throat> Sorry, drinking a bang right now. Um, but yeah, you you know that hypertrophy work, busting out a ton of reps on that bench press, right, or that all those bicep curls. That's endurance. Your your muscles start burning because they, you know, they don't have as much oxygen in them anymore. All right. So conditioning comes into play with that. You can get more reps because your heart is more conditioned and it's better at pumping blood. And how you'll know this is you'll be able, of course, yes, you're going to get stronger and you're going to be able to do more reps at a certain weight. Yes, but the foundation for that is this guy in here. This guy is, I mean, everything goes through this guy right here. Without this guy, you know, you'd be on the floor, wasted. Like that GTA thing, that wasted, right? So this guy right here is really important. I mean, why do you think in like football, basketball, soccer, even strongmen? I'm training a strongman athlete right now, Charleston. Shout out, Charleston. Here's his Instagram right here. Go follow him. Go support him. We're 12 weeks out from a strongman competition. I'm going to take this man to the top. Watch me. Watch me do it. But uh, strongmen do conditioning too. I mean, I don't have him doing cardio, but he does, you know, type of, he does conditioning work that is essentially cardio. All right. It's going to get his heart rate up. For a certain amount of time. And how you know that your conditioning is working. Is over time your resting heart rate decreases. So right now my average heart rate is. I mean I drank a rain. You know the energy drink. It's got 300 milligrams of caffeine. That gets you like. <sighs> like all over the place. Ready to like rip somebody's head off for a lift. I drank one of those on the way to the gym the other day. And I took my heart rate off my phone and my shit was like 49 my average heart rate is anywhere between 45 and like 55 so that's like that means i'm very well conditioned um so that has allowed me to get more reps on my amraps so like i talked about in my video yesterday which you should go watch about how staying lean and strength and all that uh, I talked about in my AMRAPs right here in my journal that 
the conditioning has helped me go from instead of running out of breath being the main factor of me not being able to squat, you know, more on my AMRAPs, now it's my muscle fatigue, which is what you want. You want your muscles to fail, not your cardiovascular. Because, it, I mean, think about it. Are you going to build more muscle and, you know, get more toned doing 10 reps on a squat or 15? Which one sounds better to you? 15, right? More work done. More more calories burned. Like, awesome. Like, two more calories burned, right? Because remember, lifting doesn't burn a lot of calories. Coochie. Hey, Coochie. Guys, look, it's Coochie. Ooh. But so let me let me use some examples in here. So oh, all right. Conditioning. All right, get this. Conditioning, right? Now remember, as I've done this program, I've lost weight, but strength has gone up. So I mean, I mean, me personally, I've just found out my body. I found what works for me. You gotta find what works for your body. But I'm trying to give you the guidelines on how to do that. All right. So that's why, like, that's why I say hit me up for coaching because I'm gonna help you try to figure your body out. Anyway, but so November second, I had squatting. Um, I was taking percentages off of a three forty five squat max in this last training block, um, where I did three fifteen for eleven. Here's a little clip of that right here. Three fifteen for eleven. I was taking percentages off three sixty five. All right. But this, so this was a Saturday, uh, November 2nd, 2019. I had 280 for AMRAP on squat. I only got it for eight. I did two, it was like, I did 280 for 15, like a couple of weeks ago. So 15, that is, I mean, bad at math here. That's seven more reps. That's almost double the amount of reps. All right, so there's your conditioning right there. That's why conditioning is so important is because at this point, AMRAPs is pretty much hit cardio. <laughs> it's pretty much hit cardio. So hit cardio is really intense. It gets your heart rate way up like that. Kind of like how this bang is kind of getting me kind of amped right now. So I'm kind of jumping all over the place. But you get the point. All right. Let's 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 take another example. Um, deadlift conditioning. Well, conditioning for the deadlift. That's a power movement, right? But nonetheless, conditioning matters for that too. All right. 11, so November 8th, 2019, Friday. Percentage of 455. Got 390 AMRAP. I only got it for five. All right, here we go. Remember, it was what? 390 for five, right? All right. 1126, 375 for nine. That's only 15 pounds less, but four more reps. Almost double the amount of reps. And then, I mean, if you're following me on Instagram, you saw I got 315 on squat for 11. 11? And then deadlift 405 for six? It's the conditioning. So, the conditioning plays a really big role, even if you're in calorie surplus and trying to bulk, you know, your 100 or 200 calorie surplus, it's important. You know, why do you think the football players do it? Even the linemen, the linemen do it because they have to have the conditioning and endurance to push some big ass motherfucker out of their face for four quarters. That is a long time. That's a long time, man. To push some other person that's 300 pounds with, you know, chopping your feet and getting, you know, putting that work in, like, that's a long-ass time. That's why they do the conditioning, all right? 
So they do the sprints, they do the ladders, the suicides, and, you know, pushing the sled for 20 or 30 seconds with a coach on there, right? They do that for a purpose. So I do the cardio for a purpose. It's for conditioning, for more strength work, all right? So what do I do for cardio? I literally just, before every workout, I get on the treadmill to warm up. And I put the speed on 3.2, 8.0 incline. Don't hold on. Don't hold on. If you've got to, put it on, start with like a 6 incline and like a 2.8 speed. Work your way up, okay? But I just do 8.0, 3. Uh, incline, 3.2 speed for about 8 minutes, all right? And then afterwards, at the end of the workout, I'll do about a 10 incline and 3.2 speed for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just get on your phone. Just be texting people. Text, you know, I'd be texting clients back or I don't know, watching YouTube or something. Just, or get on Twitter or Instagram, do something, all right? It's that simple. And that conditioning has taken my gains from here to here. Gains is gains, buddy. So yeah, that's all you gotta do. Take the conditioning serious. And you will see better gains. Trust me. All right. So follow me up here. You know what to do. Coaching. I've got tons of people that I'm helping out. And shout out to everyone that's shouting me out. Saying I'm coaching them. I really appreciate it. You don't know how much that means to me. It means a lot. All right. Um, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.